Hello guys, uh, welcome to this video. So in the video, we are going to call the backend API. Okay, so in the backend API, when we select the start date, okay, in the date range, we select monitor, when you click on submit, okay, so we are going to bind the data like this. So uh, example, we are dummy data bind. Okay, so in the mother bind panaporo in the same uh, scenario when you download reports from your uh, online banking account okay you know, transactions you download okay, date range you submit you know, your overall transactions for a month in the mario printer display you can download it okay so idu nariya edathla neenga paathirupinga idu real time la use so we are going to do that right uh, so we already created the backend API. Okay, so we already know how to call the API. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll create the script here, right? So I'm going to write, uh, sorry, document out ready. The page load function is not a proposal. Function and Paniachi, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So the button or the ID number one capture for the We already done it uh, in the other page. Okay. So I'll do this. Hash button or ID dot click uh, then function. So it's very easy. If you do it, you will automatically. You will, I mean, it will come. Out, you will write automatically. So if we button submit, then I am going to do what? We are going to call the API, right? So before that, I am going to declare the backend uh, URL as we do. Uh, so in the backend URL, I am going to copy this from this page. Okay. So we need this backend URL and paste it here. Okay, and I'm going to call copy the AJAX get visitor AJAX function. Right, so it is here. I'll copy this. So what here is it or It is very easy to replicate. So in the other side then what else we need a deferred variable i'll copy that too i'm not going to write anything here okay copy paniachu deferred variable right so so in the method number name martilla i say get report right get report is going to uh, get only this url so in the button click button, I am going to create a URL. URL equal to backend URL dot concat. So you know we can make in the last video. Backtick. Okay. So you could end up with the last slash. We are going to form this backend uh, API URL. I am going to Postman Popora. I will copy this. Okay, so Lame Namaka ready made And at this place, okay, we want to pass the start date and uh, end date okay, in the field and the value. Now pass one no, right? So I am going to declare two variables one is start date equal to variable end date right so on the button click i'm going to get the uh, what start date order value na get one uh, start date okay here and end date is end date okay so number already uh, a page that I'm going to take, assign it to a variable is the DOM element and end date 
is going to be ended right so inga namba validation um pannanum adhu namba pannidalam okay uh, i'm going to write a function so always i prefer writing a function for each and everything okay so appo da nammalku code next paakum bodhu rom puriyum right so this validated equal to false okay so na enna panna porena i'm going to copy the code from check validation so easy ah namu mudichidalam so i'll copy this code okay not from here to here okay i'll copy this i'll go here and paste it here okay so inga vandu what i'm going to do i'm going to do paste start date and here it is going to be end date so i'm going to delete all these things okay uh um, start date end date paarenga oru vaati ezhidirona evlo easy paarenga we can easily start uh, re- i mean copy and paste the code recreated so again it is going to be start date end date so oru vaati ungal purinjirchuna we can easily recreate the things okay fine so inga again i am going to check start date uh, start date start date and copy in date sorry end date end date and finally i am going to return this validated okay so we we'll save this now validated so i'll check one time everything is fine start date okay so if we are going to do what we are going to do same thing now this check validation true ah irundhuna da namba idula vara porom okay so in the action la namba perform panna porom and uh, here instead of this i'm going to pass a template literal in which uh, dynamic a pass na for dot val and also in end date template literal end date dot val okay so if i now check one more and i click on submit Mm-hmm. Okay, so I think something is wrong. Okay, now, yeah. parang when I click on submit validation na dekha the, then when I select uh, data, so it disappear right shit. Okay, so validation is fine. This year I'm ready now. Khadi mare na maina pona pora abhi na we are going to uh, pass data to this method. okay uh full url dot done callback function function data okay console dot log going to print the data right so we have to work out and pop on i'm going to select from may 31st to june 10 click on submit so console print i can pop on ajax is not a function okay uh i think jquery url miss agudhu source url okay paarenga indha maari issues varum so in the jquery url we did not add source file na solirundala we missed it that's why we got that error so the pdi na kandupidichen appadina you see in the dollar not found in the dollar variable not found nale 
you have to understand the script file is missing okay so paste for native we'll again run it start date is from 30 to end date june 10 and i click on submit go to inspect element and check in the console see you have got the object 7 data on the chip uh, let us check uh, up to 5 now click on submit again you got only 3 data which means our API is working so the only thing we have to do is we have to uh, build this grid dynamically okay so whatever we get it from the API okay based on the data we are going to build the build this grid dynamically so they have been to the next video the popcorn guys hope you understood uh, all the things that i showed you in this video so purilana you can write a comment to me uh, so ninga idukku munnadi na eduna front end videos la ninga paathinga appadina this video is a cake for you okay so first adala poi paathittu next inga vaanga it will be easy for you um, i think uh, we are going to finish this uh, entire visitors management system series so we have come closer to this uh, i mean to the end of the series so next video we'll come thank you guys